What is going on guys, Nick here, WiseGuyTown11. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to record videos using NVIDIA GeForce Experience. This only works with certain NVIDIA graphics cards, so unfortunately, if you're using an AMD graphics card, this isn't going to work for you. The first thing you're going to want to do is obviously download the program. So what you're going to do, open up your browser, and you're going to want to go to this website up here, geforce.com slash geforce experience. I'll have a link in the description so it'll be easier for you. All you're going to do is go to the website, and you'll be here at NVIDIA GeForce Experience's homepage. Before you download it, you're going to want to check and make sure your system actually meets the system requirements. So in order to check the system requirements, you just click support, click on system requirements, and here's the requirement page. Here's the operating systems that it supports, disk space, RAM, CPU you need. So here's the important part. This is a list of the GPUs that you can record with. So you can read over this for yourself right now. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead right here and just click the download now button. And once it's downloaded, you're going to want to run and install the program. I'm not going to do that here just because I already have it installed down here. But when you click the download now button, just make sure you run it and install it. Anyway, once you have NVIDIA GeForce Experience downloaded right here, this is what the icon looks like. This is just NVIDIA's uh, logo. You're going to go ahead and click on and open it up. You're probably going to be greeted at first with something like this that shows you all of your games if you're using optimal settings or not. It might not recognize all of your games because only certain ones are supported for its optimization, but whatever. You guys aren't here for optimization. You guys are here for recording your videos. So once you've opened up GeForce Experience, you're going to want to go and click on the settings tab up here. Once you've clicked on the settings tab, you're going to go down here to in-game overlay, and you're going to want to make sure that this is checked on in highlighted green. This is going to allow you to, according to NVIDIA, easily record videos, take screenshots, play cooperatively, or broadcast your gameplay. Before you open up GeForce Experience, you're going to want to click on settings and then click on recordings. Here, you're just going to want to make sure that it has locations that your videos are going to be saved to. If you want to change your video location, you can do it here. Anyway, now that you've had this downloaded, this is selected and you made sure that your videos are going to be saved to the right folder. You can open up GeForce Experience in two different ways. You can either open up GeForce Experience and go ahead and click on the little share icon up here, the one that says open GeForce Experience in game, or you don't even have to have it open, you just click Alt and Z, and that will open up the GeForce Experience. Once you're here, you're gonna be presented with a whole bunch of different options, but the recording one is the one we're gonna be focusing on. So the way you start recording is you click on the button, and you click start recording. However, if you don't want to come into GeForce Experience and click record and start recording every single time, you can just use a keyboard shortcut. The default one is Alt F9. However, if you want to change that, the way you do so is you click on settings, click on keyboard shortcuts, and then down here you go to record and then down here where it says toggle manual recording on and off and save you can just change the keyboard shortcut to whatever you want it to be I just left it at the default alt F9 once you have that all sorted out you're going to want to click on customize. This is where you're going to be able to control your video's quality. So you can see here that it has some preset quality options, low, medium, and high. You're not going to want to use the presets. Usually you're always going to want to use the custom toolbar. And here you can select what resolution you want to actually record your videos at, whether it be 360p, 480p, 720p, 1080p, 1440p, or 4K. So a whole bunch of different resolutions you can record at. However, the one that I do recommend that you choose all the time is in-game resolution. All that means is that it's going to record your video or your gameplay or whatever you're doing at the same resolution as your monitor. So if your monitor is a 1080p monitor, it's going to record your video at 1080p. If your monitor is 1440p, it'll record your video at 1440p. You get the point. So I just keep it at the in-game resolution. And then over here under frame rate, you can choose 30 FPS or 60 FPS. There's really no reason not to do 60 FPS unless you're legitimately not hitting that in any of your games. But considering you're using an NVIDIA G 
GeForce GTX card more than likely, you should be able to get 60 FPS in most of your games at whatever resolution you're playing at. The reason why you can record at such high quality with GeForce Experience is because it, there's only like a 5% drop in performance while recording compared to not recording. And you can also change the bit rate. I just leave mine at 50, pretty standard stuff. Once you've got the quality that you're going to be recording at all set up to go, you just go ahead and click save. One last thing you're going to want to do before you record, if you plan on recording videos with live commentary, you're going to want to make sure that you have this microphone icon selected like I do here. Having it selected just means that while you're recording your screen, it's also going to be recording your audio at the same time. Same with right here, you can turn on or off a webcam while you're recording as well. I personally don't have a webcam yet, so I can't show you how to do this. I apologize, but most of you out there are probably just going to be more concerned with making sure this microphone option is selected. Anyway, once you have the quality selected that you want to record at and you have the microphone option selected if you're doing live commentary, it's time to start recording. There's two ways you can start and stop a recording. You can either click on record and click start and then you're going to get a little pop-up right here in the corner that says recording has started. Whenever you're done with your recording, you just go back in, open it back up, and click stop and save. I personally do not use this method just because you'll have to do more work when you're editing because you're gonna have to cut out the beginning part and the end part when you go into the actual in-game overlay to start and stop your recording. So the way I do it is I just use the keyboard shortcut, hit your keyboard combination, in my case that's Alt F9, and then that'll start recording the video. And then whenever you're done recording, you just hit that same keyboard combination once again in my case that is alt f9 and that will save the recording once your recording has been saved and you want to go back and view it all you have to do is go over to your downloads folder navigate to the folder that you told geforce experience to save your videos to and then voila you should see a list of the videos that you have recorded that's going to be it for this tutorial if this ended up helping you let me know down in the comment section leave a like thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next video